welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia, and today we are continuing on working on our arms. A number of skaters have requested arm tutorials, and so we're going to get started with an exercise using two hockey pucks. Now, hockey pucks you can find almost anywhere at an ice rink. You just pick a couple of them up, but if you don't have any, you could use gloves as well. This exercise is just a lot more of a challenge with a puck, okay? So, I mean, maybe you could start out with gloves and move up to pucks once you get the hang of it. But what we're gonna do is try to balance these on our hands, okay? Now they're really hard and your hands are slightly rounded on the top, which makes this challenging because that puck is gonna wiggle around quite a lot. But what we're gonna do is try to do a number of different skills holding those pucks out. Now, if you watched my YouTube video, you'll know that I want you to think of your arms as extending through your spine. So to help these arms not bounce around, we're gonna stop thinking about the arm ending at the shoulder, and we're gonna extend it all the way through to our shoulder blade. And this causes us to engage those muscles in our back, and that makes our arms a lot more stable. So stop thinking about your arms ending here and end them when they reach the spine, okay? So your muscles in your back are engaged. We're gonna start with just some forward stroking, trying to balance those pucks on your hands. It's gonna give you really beautiful controlled arms. One thing that drives me nuts when I watch my students is arms flapping around as if they forgot they had any arms. I see this so often with skaters where their program might be beautiful but their arms are hanging down and dead. So. Keep those arms up as strong as you can. One of the things that's gonna help make this easier to balance is getting that rounded top of your hand a little bit flatter. So when they're up here, they're gonna be teetering back and forth on our rounded hand. So what you can do is drop your knuckles down, sort of flatten those knuckles down, but we don't like this. We don't want a little frying pan hand. So I want you to drop your finger down as well, and that will give you a flatter surface on top and still pretty fingers. All right, so that's a lot more easy to balance than a rounded top of the hand where that puck wants to wobble back and forth a lot. So we're working on having nice hands that way and those strong controlled arms. Okay, so we have those flat hands and that's gonna help you balance those pucks a lot more easily. Now, once you have your forward stroking down, I want you to try other skills as well. We can do backward crossovers. So we've got backward crossovers. Look back over that hand. Think of that hand extending all the way through your spine. So your hands do not move, your arms don't wobble around. Okay, we can think about mohawks. We can do three turns. Let's try a three turn. Three turn. Nice stable hands. We'll do the other side. Three turn. Keep those hands nice and stable. We can do that with mohawks, mohawk. Okay, so this is gonna help you think about your arms, keep them stable, and keep them from wobbling around. So, my first trick for you in keeping controlled strong hands is grab some pucks, place them on your hands, and try practicing with them. For this tip, I want you to grab two pens. All right, we're gonna use those to force our fingers into a beautiful position. So what I want you to do is take that pen and we're gonna slip it between the first knuckle of your middle finger and the knuckles of the fingers on either side. That is gonna drop your middle finger slightly below the rest of the fingers on your hand. Now it's not way up here by the top knuckle where you'd get a really awkward claw, but it's down there by that lowest knuckle. So we're gonna put those pens on each hand, all right, and it's kind of forcing your hand into a very feathery position. Okay, so now we're gonna skate our program or work on our three turns or do our spirals, whatever we're gonna do, we're gonna do it with that pen dropped down, all right? So you gotta force those hands into that position. So we can work on our footwork, we can do our stops, run your program thinking about that pen or put that pen physically in your hands to get used to that. Then when you pull that pen out, you wanna keep that position with your hands. So practice skating with those pens, and then when you're ready, you can pull those pens out and hold that same shape. So we have our middle finger drop down, our two fingers next to it squeezed together, our pinky up, and our thumb down. All right, that's a very feathery position, and you wanna practice that 
get your hand used to holding that position so that it's natural while you're skating. This is gonna help you avoid those big frying pan hands. So, my next tip for having nice hands out on the ice is grab two pens, stick them between those fingers, and practice your program. Our last little exercise for today, we're gonna use a ball. Now this is just a squishy, kind of like a softball sized ball. That's pretty good. It fits in my hand really nicely. Um, just get something you have on hand. It doesn't have to be squishy, but the nice thing about this is it's kind of light. So it's not gonna give, make my arms tired doing this exercise. So we need some kind of a ball. Again, this is a squishy softball size. So what we're gonna be doing is actually working on our motion as well as our head. So a lot of times to create more artistry, we wanna follow our head to our hand. So we wanna look through and use our chin and follow through. We wanna lift up and look at our hand as we use our, move our arm. So we're gonna do two things today. We're moving that arm in a great big circle and we're moving our head with it. So I'm gonna put that softball in one hand. I'm gonna do a swizzle going forward. And as I swizzle, I'm gonna bring that hand up, over, and behind me. And then I'm gonna switch behind my back. And I'm gonna do the other side. So all the way through the biggest circle you can and follow it with your head. Okay, so we're gonna go swizzle all the way through, bring that hand behind. Swizzle all the way through, bring that hand behind. So you wanna get really good shoulder mobility. You wanna bring your arm as big as you can, so no little hands. And using your arm with a straighter arm is gonna give you more mobility in your shoulder. If your elbow bends, we don't have that same mobility. So we're gonna do big arm, really good shoulder rotation, swap hands behind your back, and then do the other one. As we use this ball, I want you to have your hand facing down on the first half and then it's gonna stay basically facing the same way so your hand is facing up on the second half. Okay, so we're going palm down, palm up. Okay, and again, we're gonna follow that with our chin. Palm down, chin up, palm up. Okay, so we're creating that really big circle. We're following it with our hand. We're getting some different motion with our, our hand is changing position so you get a really good, thorough arm exercise. All right, let's try this one more time. So we have swizzle, hand up and over, follow it with your chin, swap behind your back, swizzle up and over, follow it with your chin, swizzle behind your back. All right, I want you to do that all the way around the rink. Give it a, use it as part of your warm-up exercise when you first get out here. It gets a good leg workout with those swizzles. It gets your arms really limbered up at the beginning of the day. So for your third exercise for the day, I want you to grab a little ball to use out on the ice. Skaters, I hope you enjoyed those tips for having beautiful arms out on the ice. If you did, please do give us that thumbs up. And while you're practicing, make sure you post your videos up on Instagram as well and tag me at Skating Coach Julia so I can follow along your progress. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.